Good morning, everyone. It's fantastic to see you all here this morning. Welcome to the Technology and Innovation Centre here at Strathclyde University. Perfect backdrop for this morning's discussion around innovation, not only in energy, but what that might mean more widely for Scotland as a digital nation. Before we go on to talk, before I have the great privilege of introducing our expert speakers, can I first ask you to imagine as at the supermarket checkout being given an estimated bill, the person at the till squinting, oh, that'll be a tenner. Oh, don't worry, if it's not enough, you can pay us, pay us the difference next week, no matter if you can't afford it or uh, have eaten too much food in the meantime. We'll sort that out later. Imagine if the only way you could get an accurate bill every month for your internet use at home was to peer at some mechanical dials on the back of your router and phone that reading into your internet service provider. And imagine if you wanted to pay as you go for your mobile phone because of your financial circumstances or just because it was a lifestyle choice you wanted to make. And the only way you could do that was by taking your phone to a newsagent, paying in cash and paying a premium for doing so. I think it's very clear energy has not kept up with the digital world and with the very reasonable expectations we have as consumers in every other part of our lives. And we've had to carry on with this experience. There's currently been, until now, no alternative. But change is coming. Transformation in energy is coming to every home across Scotland. Three million smart meters have already been installed across Scotland, Wales and England. And people who have the new technology are loving it and using it. It's not just the people we uh, have included in our film. Um, we know that eight in ten people who already have their smart meters are taking steps to reduce their energy use. And a similar number would recommend their smart meter to others. That's an off-the-scale approval rating for any technology. I think an 80% approval rating, perhaps even the Queen would be glad to have that sort of uh, approval rating in her birthday week. Um, so, lower bills for individuals, more control over how we're, we and our families are using our energy. But what does that mean for Scotland as an entire nation? Well, of course, the kind of changes you heard people talking about there, multiplied by more than 5 million people across Scotland, that means a significant contribution to Scotland's ambitious carbon reduction targets. And what about the data and the more engaged consumers with their energies? What does that mean as a platform for innovation? Well, Scotland has always been a proud nation of innovation here. I really will have to refer to my notes, I think. Among other things, Scottish inventors have been responsible for the TV, the fridge, the light bulb, the telephone, the cash machine, the bicycle, the postage stamp, penicillin and Dolly the sheep. So the question for this morning, how can companies, individuals, public bodies across Scotland uh, use this smart meter rollout as a platform for innovation? What might that look like for people and businesses across the country? Well, Sir Tim Berners-Lee said, if we build all the things I can imagine now, we will have failed. So we don't know where these, this data, this opportunity might lead us. But here's a couple of examples to get us thinking. In Glasgow today, 50% uh, of pensioners are living in fuel poverty. In some parts of the Highlands and Islands, that's up to 80% with all the health implications that that brings. Imagine if a GP could, at the touch of a button, prescribe £20 for a pensioner's fuel bill. Uh, I was talking to someone just earlier about some fantastic work going on with communities in the south side of Glasgow to help communities work together to bring down their carbon footprint and to, to deal better with fuel poverty. Imagine how much richer that uh, incredible work that that organisation is doing could be with even richer data about how individuals and communities are using their energy. Imagine if the heating of an elderly loved one didn't come on one morning and that a trusted carer could be alerted. And I'm sure many of you can imagine the huge potential for smarter cities and communities to innovate with the data smart meters will provide, linking that to other urban systems. So this morning, I can't wait to debate these issues with our expert speakers on the impact of smart technology on Scotland as a digital nation.